I am the director of the High Field MRI program at our institute. The main research goal of my lab is to employ cutting edge imaging technology to visualize the brain in unprecedented detail and through new filters. MRI scanners are essentially very strong magnets that excite and receive signal from the hydrogen nuclei in the human body to produce an image. Conventional scanners operate at 1.5 and 3 Tesla. However, the ICON School of Medicine in Mount Sinai is one of the few institutions that's invested in a 7 Tesla human MRI scanner. This field strength can be leveraged to not only produce high resolution images that reveal fine anatomical detail, but also to better study the biochemical changes that underlie the structural changes associated with disease. We can also visualize tiny venules and microbleeds in great detail. Ultra High Field MRI offers us the opportunity to non-invasively reveal subtle abnormalities associated with neurological diseases and could be a powerful tool to aid in early detection, evaluation of new therapies, and neurosurgical planning. Our team is focused on finding creative engineering solutions to overcome some of the physical and hardware limitations associated with operation at high fields so that we can capitalize on the advantages and get one step closer to unraveling the mystery of the human brain. My work has mainly been focused on research and development of imaging methods for studies in neuropsychiatric disorders. My research revolves mostly around schizophrenia and Alzheimer's disease, but I'm also involved with other studies of brain function and anatomy, such as traumatic brain injury, cardiovascular risk factors on the brain, as well as normal brain function, such as intelligence. I mainly use functional imaging, such as resting state fMRI and diffusion tensor imaging in my research. My team develops novel software tools that integrate a variety of imaging modalities into one analysis. We also develop specialized hardware for probing specific brain circuits, such as olfaction. We are one of a handful of institutions that have access to olfaction research using MRI, and we built a one-of-a-kind olfactometer that's MR compatible. We have several dedicated human research scanners. They are all configured with state-of-the-art peripherals for neurofunctional imaging research. We have a comprehensive system for monitoring and recording of physiological signals during imaging, as well as a range of stimuli to study brain function. We develop novel algorithms that integrate functional as well as anatomical information into one analysis. In-house tractography software is illustrated here. I'm interested in understanding the structural and the functional relationship of the tissue integrity within the spinal cord, which plays a central role in disability resulting from injuries and neurodegenerative diseases. I'm also interested in the dynamic mechanisms of the sensory motor network in the brain and through the spinal cord. I develop fast and reliable MR technologies to push the spatial and the temporal resolutions in spinal cord and brain imaging for clinical applications.